Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, She Plan, She Budgets. In today's video, we'll be closing out my April monthly budget. So let's get started. All right, you guys, it is time to close out this budget for the month of April. Um, April did not go as expected because several things been going on. And we'll get in right into that in a second. Um, first, just wanted to apologize for my little hiatus. I did take off for about two weeks unexpectedly. Um, just some things going on or was going on as far as my house sale, um, as far as my apartment and just like life, <laughs> life be lifing. So sorry about the break. I am back and I hope to remain consistent with my uploads so that we can continue on my uh, create your own life journey. So yeah, so first I want to just go ahead and go over my expenses from this week from the 24th through the 30th um i did not post my weekly check-ins for weeks one two and three unfortunately um again this month just like gripped me up <laughs> and put me in a chokehold then it choke slammed me and then you know <laughs> i had to recover it's just like a lot of things been going on but you guys will see what i'm talking about financially financially because my numbers got a little crazy this month all right so um on the 24th i did go to the grocery store um spent 95.38 and i went again on the 28th and spent 152.82 then i purchased some stickers from romina rosa i purchased some more of her no spin stickers for 14.88 um, I had my two utility bills come out. That was for the house, not my apartment. So that was $175.71 for my water bill, which I paid through my sinking funds. And then $214 for my gas and electric. Um, that's on an equal payment plan. So that's why it's so much because clearly I'm not li um, living there now. But um, that's just an equal payment plan. And technically I owe on the account from the winter month. So that's why I just kept the equal payment plan on but I will turn it off once my um, house sales on the 27th I also um, spent more money out of eating out for $66.41 the 29th we went to Chipotle for $29.71 had my electricity bill due for the apartment at $31.14 my boyfriend's cell phone bill was due with Sprint for $93 and then lastly on the 30th, we um, ate out at Chick-fil-A through the, I think it was Uber, Eat, Uber Eats app we used. So that's why it was so much because of the delivery fee, tip, service fee, blah, blah, blah. We was being lazy. We should have went and picked it up ourselves, but we didn't. So the total was $72.35. We did pick out this day. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so that was from eating out as well. Um, as you guys can see, these are my categories, gasoline, groceries, spending, eating out, unbudgeted. And I did have quite a few unbudgeted expenses. And I'm going to uh, point those out to you on the next page. But what I wanted to do real quick, because we will um, check these, check this fourth week in in a moment. I'm just going to go ahead and check off the boxes because I did already total up my expenses from this week all right so um from this page i did have a few no spend days so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so i just want to keep track of that i had a total of 11 no spend days which isn't bad i would like to see this number increase for may so uh wish me luck <laughs> All right, so that's everything for this monthly view and all other bills were paid. Um, let's see, any other bills that kind of stick out that's that I want to talk about? No, pretty much just like eating out, um, groceries. I only had to pump once, so gasoline was $45 for the entire month of April, so that was good. Um... Yeah, and then everything else was either just a normal bill or unbudgeted. And the unbudgeted will go over right now. So on this page is where I keep my expense log. All right, so I wrote down all of my um, expenses for my categories. 
gasoline, groceries, eating out, spending, and unbudgeted. So the unbudgeted expenses, I wanted to just point out. So um, my boyfriend and I, on April 7th, we went on a shopping spree to Old Navy. We spent a total of $344.65. That's because we did recently move from New Jersey to Texas, and it's way warmer here. It stays between, like, mid-70s to low-90s right now, and it hasn't been raining too often. So it's been very, very warm, so we just needed more, um, you know, warmer clothes. So we went on a little shopping spree. And just because we was, you know, feeling really good and <laughs> excited about the recent move and selling our house and blah, 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 blah. So we just went on a little shopping spree. The unbudgeted credit card expenses, that was actually from April 5th. Um, that was for $1,035.34. That was us just buying stuff for our apartment. We got outdoor outdoor storage on our patio. We got a new TV stand, bar stools for the kitchen island, um, a new office desk, bookcases. Um, so, so that took care of some of the new stuff we bought for the apartment. On April 7th, this energy fee, this is for, I think it was for my... Um, electric bill that was just have the service transfer um in our name since we're the new tenant so that was just a twenty dollar fee that i wasn't expecting so i marked it as unbudgeted and then on april 11th um i owed new jersey state taxes about 75 dollars um because of where i worked i commuted from new jersey to new york so my taxes went to new york so when i get my refund i'm gonna get a refund refund federally and um, from the state of New York, but because of the difference between New York and New Jersey, I owe New Jersey $75. So I just paid that to my tax preparer to take care of that. And then when I get my New York um, refund, it'll be for, you know, the difference. Um, and then the last unbudgeted expense was um, I switched out, I got new renter's insurance. At first I signed on for the renter's insurance that comes through my apartment, but I noticed that they don't cover your personal expenses, just the property. So, you know, that's no good. I wanna cover my personal belongings. So I switched to um, State Farm for renter's insurance. And um, so my rent will be a little less monthly just because I'm not using their insurance, I'm using my own. So I paid 1916, but it was supposed to be half the amount, like 958. So I've been meaning to call them to see what's going on. Is this a double payment for April and May or was it supposed to be this amount? Just to, just so I know what to expect. So I'll have a new bill monthly. Um, and that was pretty much it for unbudgeted. So for all of my expenses for the month, it came to a whopping total. And I'm actually pretty sad about this, but what can I do about it? Uh, $3,502.52. And yes, I already know you guys, this is beyond ridiculous. There was a little bit of yellow in the month of April. And then I kept getting the left hook, right hook, wrong arm, left hook, right hook. You know, I was getting choked out and stomped out like for the month of April because things was going on and just had to take care of it. So, whew. All right, so here is my weekly check-in page. All right, so here is my weekly check-in page. So like I mentioned, um, I did not film these previ these three weeks, so sorry about that. And here is what I spent in those three weeks. And as you guys can see, I was doing really bad on, on budgeted. Then I started doing bad in groceries, eating out, and then it turned into being horrible. And then week four is just gonna be worse. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write down the numbers. So gasoline for week four, I didn't spend anything. So um, that should still have the 155 remaining. Groceries, I spent a total of $248.20. And I'm gonna do that math. And then for spending, I only spent the $14.88. Eating out, I spent $168.47. And I'm budgeted 
um, was nothing for the fourth week. So if I take this negative 351, 33 plus the 24820 for um, groceries, I'm at now a negative $599.50. Let me tell you how when I first was figuring out where I stood for the month for groceries and I got like how much I spent for the whole month, <laughs> I almost came to tears because I'm just like, what am I doing with my life? I'm just out here swiping and spending money without um, paying attention or, you know, keeping track of everything. I'm just like, what is going on in my world? So... May I have to make a serious change? Today is May 4th, so we did go grocery shopping for week one of May, and I'm telling I told my boyfriend already we are on a strict tight budget and we have to stay within budget for the month, or we're gonna eat ourselves out of a home, literally. So um yeah, major changes are, are happening for May. Then for spending, I'm ending the month with $18.87 left. For eating out, let's see that new total. So negative 424 plus the 168.47. So I am over by $172.71, which is very unfortunate. And then I'm budgeted is the same at negative $1,494.15. So your girl did some damage this month and I'm just like, this cannot continue. So down here, um, I'm just gonna write the totals of what I spent for the month. This is just something I'm gonna start looking back on just so I can have a quick reference. So for gasoline, I only spent a total of $45. We only had to pump once, surprisingly. Groceries. So I had a budgeted amount of $700 plus this overage of $599.53. Oh, spent $1,000. $299.53. Go ahead down in the comments and cuss me out. I deserve it because what the hell was I doing? <laughs> what was I doing? Eating real good. But I do want to mention too, I did recently combine groceries and laundry and I already include household in my spending. And I do have to give myself a tad bit of grace because um, since we just moved to Texas, we did basically have to start over with as far as like buying new pots and pans, kitchenware, um, household products like dish, dish detergent. Um, we needed, you know, different things here and there. So I definitely didn't plan for like starting over. This is like a regular amount that I would budget for, like during normal conditions, like not including you know, buying new stuff, but yeah, I didn't really, I didn't do a good job for April. I'll just say that. Now for spending, uh, my spending for the month was 210. I did have um, $10 rolled over from March and this $40 from gasoline was rolled over from March as well. So I had 210 for the month and I'm ending with 1887. So that means I spent a total of 191 and 83 cents or 13 cents not 83 so 13 cents and then for eating out i started with 300 plus the 172.71 so i spent a total of 472.71 and on budget it was 1000 $494.15. So yes, y'all, these numbers are ridiculous. Pray that your girl make a change in May. Because I got, I have to get it together. 
All right, so now this brings me to the monthly budget page that we need to close out. I did uh, input the numbers as I was paying my bills just so I can keep track of what was paid. So most of this is already filled in. Okay, so what I originally planned on spending for the month of um, April was $6,164.54. That's because I had to still maintain the mortgage on my house and pay my um, new bills for my apartment. So I was expecting to pay $2,840.92. Um, but instead, I only had to pay, let's see, $242.26. And I do have a story here about that. $31.14 plus $94.19 plus $96 or $73 plus, and then this equals 175, only had to pay $639.32 from my bills and expenses. And that's because of my rent was so much lower than expected. And so was electricity. It was um, lower than expected. And then my water bill wasn't due yet. It's actually delayed. Um, it doesn't charge as soon as you move in. So um, I don't know if I'll see it in May. If not, I'll probably see a bill in June. Okay, and then for my miscellaneous section, this was pretty much the same. Everything was the same except for my Verizon final bill. This was for the internet I had at my house. So instead of $50, it was actually $40.76. So I'm just gonna take the difference that from that. So 17 62 minus the nine dollars and 24 cents difference so this total is now um one thousand seven hundred twenty four dollars or fifty four dollars and 38 cents okay and now for my cash envelope section i'm just going to put in the actuals of what was spent. So for gasoline, I was planning for 160, only ended up spending 70 or 45. All right, groceries we know was ridiculous. That was 1,000, what was it? 1,200. $99.53. Eating out was a total of $472.71. Spending, so this budgeted $400 is for $200 for me and my boyfriend each. So he spent his whole $200 and then I spent a total, um, let me see, $200 minus $18.87 because that's what's, what was remaining plus 200 for my boyfriend. So we spent a total of 381 with 13 cents. And then um, budgeted was $1,494.15. Oh Lord Jesus. And then on this page, we know the total was $3,502.52. So this was Thirty-five oh two fifty-two, ridiculous. All right, so let me bring those numbers down to see how I ended for the overall month. So bills and expenses was six thirty-nine thirty-two, cash envelopes was three thousand five hundred two dollars and fifty-two cents, miscellaneous was one thousand seven hundred fifty-four dollars and thirty-eight cents. So from savings, I spent a total of Okay, I'm sorry guys. I'm doing something wrong with my math. Um but I was supposed to have a total um pulled from savings was $6,086.22. To make this a zero based budget um so again sorry about that i probably did something wrong here like when i did these totals i probably did something wrong here 
um because it should have been and i checked it with my excel spreadsheet it should be six thousand eighty six dollars and 22 cents that i pulled from savings in total so six thousand eighty six and twenty two cents all right so that's that with that and then lastly just to close out my um sinking funds so all right so here's my sinking funds transaction log so just want to give you guys a glimpse of all the expenses um some major things really was just one major thing i did have um some car repairs to make that i paid out of car maintenance that cost 222 dollars and 51 cents so that was sad but i had to get it fixed because i still have to keep my car chugging along until i'm um, able and ready to buy a new one and i don't think there was any other significant charges so that's pretty much it so for this side i'm just going to go ahead and mark what I spent. All right, so I already wrote down all of my um expenses. So self-care, I spent everything, so that balance is zero. Pets, I spent a total of 41.53, so that balance is left at $8.47. Home projects, I spent everything, so that is zero. For miscellaneous, I spent a total of $17.22, so that balance is $7.78. Out of my water bill, I spent $175.71, so that leaves me with $224.29. cents. Car insurance is still at $700. I didn't spend anything. Um, car maintenance, that is now at so 1010 minus 22251. Leaves me with $787.49. From sub subscriptions, I still have $35 because I didn't spend anything. And then the vet and grooming is at zero because I spent 25 bucks. And car registration should still be $75. So in total, for sinking funds for the month of um, April. I am looking at $1,838.03. Hopefully, I did that math correctly. So, one, eight, three, eight, and three cents. All right. All right. So, that is everything for today's video. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you all next time.